Hey, it's Ernesto, and uh, there's four reasons that I tell beginners to get pigments for from Arturia. The first one is all the ways that you can synthesize. Usually a soft synth is gonna give you like two or three synth modes. Well, pigments gives you at least five. You have up to three oscillator layers in the virtual analog engine. Or get lost in the many wavetables in the wavetable engine. You can go ahead and create some really interesting tones with a harmonic oscillator. Or experiment with one of the most in-depth sampler engines I've ever seen. My personal favorite is tucked inside the sampler. It's this granular engine here. Just click this button. Wow. Now these short demos don't even scratch the surface, but as you explore each synth mode, you'll find that Pigments offers a lot of these smart controls that really help you push the limits of synthesis. And if I can pass along some advice, if you're new to sound design and synthesis, don't try to learn all five of these at once. It's too much. Trust me, I know from firsthand experience. Instead, just focus on one or two of them. I recommend starting with the wavetable or uh, sample engines since they're kind of the most popular that you'll find. But no matter what synth mode you choose, you'll be doing a ton of modulation to give your sounds that movement and life. But modulation can get a little complicated. But the good news is that Pigment makes modulation complex yet very user-friendly. So if you're unfamiliar with modulation, it's the answer to the question, how do I get this control to move while I'm playing? It can be done with an LFO, an envelope or a good old fashioned mod wheel. But here's a list of all the modulation sources Pigments has to offer. Yeah, this is, it's a ton, but Pigment keeps it really easy to understand with color coding. It's not the most innovative solution, but it works. At first I thought these colors were a gimmick, but it really does help with identifying at a glance what's modifying what. And to assign modulation, it's really easy. Just click and drag. And uh, thanks to this workflow, this is the most comfortable I've been with modulation. And because I'm comfortable, I find myself experimenting and having more fun with modulation, which is what I'm sure you'll experience. And I remember how overwhelming and confusing synthesis used to be. And if that's you, you're in luck because Pigments, they have a really great interactive tutorial that walks you through every single control. Now there's two more reasons to go, but before I get there, you can try Pigments for free. Just click my affiliate link down in the description and you can see if this synth is perfect for you before you decide to spend anything on it. Now, there may be some of you out there who are allergic to presets, you hate stock sounds. Well, I'm pleased to inform you that it's really easy to import your own samples to generate unique results. You can click and drag your own samples into the two places, the wavetable and sample engines. So let's start with the wavetable synthesizer. I found this nice little sample here. And what I'm gonna do is click and drag it right onto the wavetable and bam, there it is. And you'll notice as I go from waveform to waveform, it's kind of choppy, which could be an issue if you're modulating the uh, wavetable position. So be sure to click this morph button here. And there you go, we have these smooth transitions if you decide to modulate the wavetable position knob like this. Let me show you how to do the same thing in the sampler. I have these cool one shots here. And I'm gonna click and drag it right into the sampler. There you go, custom sample to play with. But there's something a little unique about this sampler. You'll see these slots here from A to F. You can set a different sample in each of these slots. And once you do that, just click this map button and you can determine how the samples can switch between each of these samples here. So I'll click round robin for instance. So now whenever I hit a key, it's gonna move on to the next sample. And we'll combine with the granular engine, you can get some really interesting results. Once again, I'm showing you this not to overwhelm you by saying you have to do this or else your music is gonna suffer. I hate when videos make you feel that way. This is just another way to, to have a lot of fun with pigments. Now, this is probably a bad habit that I have, but when using a soft synth, I usually ignore the onboard effects because I don't know, I, I find third party effects to be more fun to play with, but this is not the case with pigments. The effects in here are very, very good. First of all, let me show you that there are 18 effects to choose from. There's a bunch, but here are my three favorite right now. There's this really good multi-band compressor here, and you should know that there is presets in each of these effects. And here's a Geno-inspired chorus that sounds super good. Yeah, it's really good. And what you'll notice is how visual many of these effects are. So if you're new to effects in general, the way that these are visually presented is really gonna help you wrap your mind around what's happening. And lastly, we have a shimmer reverb that's always fun to play with. And I put this on as a send effect on the aux bus. 
And uh, yeah, it sounds great. And I should mention that there's two effect buses above that you can route as serial or parallel effects in addition to the sends bus, giving you tons of flexibility on how these effects interact with each other. Also together, these effects inside Penguin, so they're really robust. I think it's a great starting point for beginners. And it's also a great starting point for more experienced users. And those are the four reasons of why I recommend Pigments to all my friends. Um, and if you're still unsure, at least try the demo from the link in the description. And if you want to hear more of how Pigments sounds, just click this video here. Thanks for watching. Later.